You leave it in Walmart. Yes, sir. Probably because you lying. It's bad in your hand. Yes. I bought a candy, but that's it. You bought candy with your card? With, uh, tap. Walmart doesn't have tap pay. He's lying. What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Tex Chris, coming back again with another video. And today, AC by the title, we'll be reacting to Rookie Cop Lies on the Job Gets Arrested. Hey, I'm a rookie to this reacting stuff, so let's get right into it. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope I don't get arrested from this. But hey, hope you have a wonderful day. If you if you haven't told somebody I love you, go tell somebody I love you. Go tell them, go give them a hug. Go, 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 go do all that. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right to it. Well, listen, what we need to do right now is I need you to, uh, to take off your gear, okay? So, you can just put that down. You can just put your put your phone down. Or what do you do? But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this from you, okay? Now that gotta be a hard oh, thing to do to arrest. We're the theory to switch. This is Katie. How can I help you? Hey, Katie. This is 622. Um, I just got back to my apartment and I think somebody broke in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just um. I need to make a, I need to have a unit come out here. <laughs> a rookie Ruidoso police officer was told to go home and shave. He went to Walmart to buy supplies. He went home and shaved. He left his apartment before realizing he needed his body camera. He kicked in his door and then called 911 to say someone broke into the home. Well, yeah, like I said, I didn't see anyone go up and down the stairwell. So you went to Walmart, your car didn't work, so you didn't buy nothing, yeah. came back home. This already sounds like it has some holes in the story. Is it me or am I tripping? It already. I'm sorry, y'all. It already sounds like this has some holes in the story, bro. Oh my god, I need to fix my camera. Be in the middle. Yeah, because you, you came in, me. you wound up using your electric razor. Yeah, which I mean, everything's still over there. Uh, oh, okay. But I used that, got everything done, was going to go back 81, and mm -hmm. that's when I realized my body cam was still on, on the sink. Mm -hmm. I was going to come back down to get it, and the door was wide open. Mm -hmm. How old are you, Ski? 21. 21. 21. You know how long I've been doing this? 21 years. Many years, sir. 23. So I'm, I'm pretty good about reading situations. You know what I mean? So I want you to know that first of all, lying to a police officer. You know, I can help you out if there's something else going on here, okay? But I need you as an officer to be 100% honest with me right now. Yes, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. Now, it's my understanding you were, and when you called your mom, which you say was, you were sitting right here, yes, was sir. at 642. At 642, you were in Walmart. No, sir. What's this for load? I have my chemicals right here. Dispatch right there. 621, I was at Walmart. Okay. 642 was when I got back here. 646 ish. What are you being arrested for? Dispatch. Okay. This is you leaving Walmart. Yes, sir. Probably because you lying. It's bad in your head. Yes. I bought a candy, but that's it. You bought candy with your card? With uh, the tap. Walmart doesn't have tap pay. He's lying. Even I don't know that, unless you use Walmart pay. But he's lying. Walmart's the only place that don't have tap pay. But you didn't use that to buy your razor? No, sir. No? How come? No, I mean, I realized that I had my electric shaver here, so I didn't really see the need to actually buy that. It's my more money. Okay. So, listen, Ski, this is this is the time, okay? This is a very important juncture in your life. Yes, sir. Okay? Where I want you to be 100% straight with me. If you messed up 
and you kicked your door because maybe you forgot your key, maybe because you were pissed off. Stuff happens. If I was, a I don't mean to, I don't mean to keep pausing. I want to make a prediction. I feel like he called 911, which it was not an emergency. He was just buying time away from work. And they're going to say that was a false 911 call. And he's going to end up losing the shot. I feel like that's what my prediction is. I was in a bind and I had to kick my door. I can kick my door. Okay? That's when we got to help each other out. If you make a mistake, you made a mistake. But this one, I need you to be straight with me 100%. You don't want to start your career with a blemish. Bro, he's screwing okay. over. So there, there's other things that I haven't told you yet that lead me to believe you're not being 100% straight up with me, okay? So I want you right now, put everything aside, all your emotions, any fear you might have, be 100% honest with me, bud, okay? I looked at the boot patterns. What do you think I saw there? Okay, it's okay, it's not the end of the world, man, but you, I need you to be straight with me, okay? Why did, why did you kick it? Were you locked out? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This dumbass. Bro. You left your boot patterns, you left your boot patterns on the door? On your own door? And it's the guy y'all got protecting the city? That's the guy. That's the guy y'all got protecting the city. And he has his own boot patterns on the door. And he says somebody broke in his house. Man, get him out of here, bro. He's cooked, chat. But here's the thing, man. When you when you do something like that, especially in this career, you call your buddy Munoz. Hey, dude, I I got locked out. I had to kick my freaking door. Probably gonna be in trouble. So I'm assuming maybe you thought. What, that you're gonna have to pay for the door because you kicked it or what? I knew that. Uh, yeah. So why did you kick it? I did get locked. You got locked out? And couldn't find your key or it was in here? Uh, it was, all that was in here. It was in here. Okay. All right. People do the dumbest stuff when they can just tell the truth. Well, listen, what we need to do right now is I need you to, uh, to take off your gear, okay? So, you can just put yeah. Go ahead and clock out for me. Go ahead and clock out for me, buddy. You can just put your put your phone down or whatever. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this from you, okay? Is this uh, triple? Is it a thumb release? Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and take, take all your gear off, okay? He getting arrested or he getting fired? I mean, they, they both pretty suck, but. Start making huge strides in your career path. Join Tulsa Welding School and in just seven. Did he say record or did he say look at your phone for a message? Hey, my man, whenever you got a job, you need to do some housekeeping, bro. This doesn't have to be the end of law enforcement for you, okay? This is a misdemeanor. It's not a big deal. At this point, he knew he was arrested. Once he said Mr. Meter, he knew he was arrested. In the grand scheme of things, okay? You might have another shot in the future. But He's cooked. you can't start your career out. All the agencies well, around going to know about this. Okay. All the agencies. It and it's on YouTube now. All right. I think maybe, uh, you know, you're 21 years old. And I'll tell you right now. I... Barely at a level of maturity where I was. Okay. So 
I don't want you to beat yourself up about this. But, but these things happen. You know, you're young, you made a mistake, you made a bad call. And this could be an important life lesson. Uh, what a video sound like this. But at the same time, now, that with our department anyway, your credibility, not so good. Okay? I'm just being straight with you. So, I want you to keep that in mind in the future, regardless of what you get into, but if it's law enforcement, you got to be 100% right from the very get-go. Okay? Uh, was that, did you buy that belt? Uh, Bro finna go to jail. <laughs> this is not funny. Bro finna go to jail and get back home. And his door gonna be broke. When I mean, he could have just kept his job, called somebody, had them open the door, said kicking it in, calling nine one one. Not even the not even the uh, non emergency. We call nine one one. What? Oh, then he's going to come back to a broken door. Uh, I'm going to take all the department issued stuff, so let's get that up, okay? You got patches, corporal stripes. Oh, that were right. I took off the jacket. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, when, let me get your uniform shirt. You got a backpack? Uh, the backpack is in the Oh, okay. Took all of bro's stuff. Bro went to Walmart to buy some some candy and got arrested. That's uh, sad, man. It's so sad. This is for our radio, right? Yes. Okay. Nah, that gotta be awkward between him and the other officer. It has to be. Not the, not the guy that seemed like his boss, but the guy that's talking right now. I just talked to him about the radio. That has to be awkward. Who's my boss right now? You wanna keep that belt or you wanna just give it back to Pat? I'll keep the belt. Yeah, because you said you didn't want it anymore, so. Okay, no problem. Oh, wait, that hold it, huh? On to the next officer. Dishonesty. It's crazy, man. Come on, man. We got to do better. As young people, we have to do better. There's no way. That gives older people a reason to look at young people and say, yeah, he's not ready. Is there any other department issue stuff that you can think of? Uh, no, sir. Come on, you gotta do better. Box or on me. 21 years oh. old. Same age as me, bro. You gotta do better. Man to man. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, I haven't made a Mr. Minner friend since. What about I do? So, uh, yeah, this we'll is uh, 622 out. We'll signing out. Okay, but like I said, I'm going to go as easy on you as I possibly can. Okay? And we'll, we'll get it figured out. Um, are they, they got somebody on the way? He hasn't answered me yet. i try calling him. 633, Rigos. Oh. Have my dog. 
Do you, uh, is there any way to secure this right now, or? Uh, that's why I was looking for the keys. For the keys. Did you notice that there was keys hanging on his vest? I didn't notice. I'll go check them. You can take your phone with you, bud. I'll let you use your phone while you're there. Okay. Man, he's supposed to be working right now. He don't got arrested. <laughs> How do you get arrested on your shift? All I'm going to put is the phone on this side and the wallet on this side. Your phone on this side? Phone, wallet, and nothing wallet? in the front. Nothing on this side. Okay. Did you, I saw you, you were getting your mail. Is your house key on that same keychain? Yeah. Yeah. So. Bro was supposed to be on his shift and he got arrested. I don't think so. No. Where'd you set your mail down? Uh, back there on the TV. What do you say? 14. That's on 14. Break off or something? Fourteen. Fourteen and fifteen are clear. I thought it said break off. These them? Yes. Oh, you got them? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. No, he confused. <laughs> He's like, hey, that's my ride along party, buddy. Oh, that's crazy, man. That's actually sad. Yeah. So what is he being charged with? Should we tell Call 911. Just call anybody. You work at the police department. You know people. Why would you call 911? Please tell me there's something in the description, man. Department. You're playing games with me right now. This is what needs to be done. Well, this one she used to go home in Shay. He stopped at Walmart to see supplies. So he came home to his house to shave. He left the house and forgot his body cam. He hit his door to retrieve his body cam. He proceeds to call 911 to report someone had broken into the home. This is some broke quick to realize that the break in was done by the. Voila, voila, why lie, bro? Your footprint was on your door. Your, hold on. Your footprint was on your door. Comment down below what y'all think. I just think he made a very stupid mistake. Uh, maybe he has a different job at a different police agency. I have no idea. But comment down below what you think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Check out a couple more more of my reaction videos. Hope you have a wonderful day. Subscribe, sign out. Peace.